Hi everyone, I want to introduce you to another amazing AI video generator. This one is called Pixverse and they just released their brand new 3.5 version, uh, which gives you some amazing results. So let's dive into it. So by default, you should have the 3.5 model enabled because this will give you much better quality and coherence. But I want to jump straight into what I consider to be one of the best new features they added, which is called transition. So if you left click on here, it's going to bring you to this menu. So transition is not a new feature per se, because this is essentially keyframes, right? You have a starting frame and an end frame, and then you provide a prompt and you click on create, and the AI is gonna work its magic to create this transition between those images. So for instance, by transitioning between these two images and using the prompt smooth seamless transition, a small lizard transforms into a bigger glowing blue lizard. I've essentially created my own evolving Pokemon. So the AI knows how to fill in that missing information to create this incredible looking morphing animation. And I've tried this with some other examples as well. So for instance, here is a fiery dress that's going to, to transition into a dress made out of ice. And it just looks like magic unfolding before your very own eyes and then another fashion related one i've got this female wearing this outfit made out of bone and leather uh, but you can see as the video uh, continues her afro also grows in the video and the outfit changes so there's a lot of use cases for this where you can get some interesting results here's another one with a stone statue that's going to transform into this sci-fi looking female so as long as the composition is quite similar in your images that's when i find that you get the best results and the magic keyword over here in your prompt is going to be smooth seamless transition i've used it across all of these examples and it tends to work very well i do want to talk about some other features that are also quite important so you can see over here we've got a button called turbo if i left click on this this is how you determine the quality of your output so by default it's on turbo which generates an output in about 10 seconds but it doesn't have the best quality and you can see you can go all the way up to 1080p so whenever you increase the quality, it'll obviously consume more credits with Turbo consuming the least amount and 1080p consuming the most amount of credits. And then this obviously determines the duration of your clip. So the longest clip that you can generate is eight seconds. So you can see over here, there's also this button called normal. And if you left click on here, this determines the amount of motion. So Generally, whenever you're generating clips, normal tends to work perfectly fine. But if you've got clips where there's a lot of movement, maybe it's a chase sequence or they're fighting or there's explosions and all of that, performance mode tends to work better where you want a lot more motion, uh, but it also is going to consume more credits. So keep that in mind. And just to show you visually, uh, you can see over here a video that was generated on normal mode. Of course, the output still looks pretty good, uh, but it looks like it's, like it's essentially in slow motion, while the performance mode has a a lot more dynamic motion and a better quality in my opinion as well but you need to determine which mode would work uh, better for you but I did want I do I wanted to show you a visual example so you can see the difference this button over here allows you to actually remove watermarks in your video so <laughs> that's actually quite important and then uh, obviously the seed so if you've generated a video and you like that particular output you can lock in the same number or value and it can give you a similar output uh, but also, in the same vein, you can roll the dice and get a completely different number, which will give you a completely different output uh, before you click on create. So now that you know how to use transition mode, put a first frame and a last frame, select the quality, the duration and the motion mode. You can type in a prompt over here and then click on create because it's going to bring you over to the create section. And this is where you'll see your image or your video being generated. And then once it's generated, uh, you're going to see uh, all of these settings over here. So you'll be able to see the images you used as well as the prompt. So you can click on this to copy the prompt in case you want to use it again. And then it gives you all of the details um, and information that was used to generate that video. If you want to recreate this video with all of these settings, you just click on go create. And now you can maybe even make adjustments to the prompt and you can click on create again to create another version of that video. But another way to do that is just to simply click on retry if you don't like the output. You can also extend this video by clicking on this. It takes you, it brings you over to extend mode, uh, which I think extends it by four or five seconds. So you can type in a prompt over here, click on create and it will extend it for you. There's even lip syncing, uh, which Sometimes works pretty well and other times not so well, uh, but that is the nature of AI. So you can select different voices over here. I'm your best storytelling partner. You can type in a prompt and it's going to supply lip syncing onto this video using that voice. Or you can even upload your own audio and use that as lip syncing. 
you can see you can upscale this to 4k uh, you can like the video and most importantly you can download the video as well and if you don't like the generation over here you can also delete it so of course Pixverse can also do text to video and image to video so just click on the home tab and if you want to see some examples generated using the new model there'll definitely be some examples over here so for instance this video of the samurai I can see the text prompt that was used and you know some additional details over here like what I mentioned earlier so to do text to video you'd simply just type a prompt, to, uh, prompt in over here so I can even copy this prompt and paste it you type in the prompt and then you click on create and it's going to do text to video if you do an image to video you simply just drag and drop an image in here it's going to upload the image you'll type in a prompt you click on create and it will create a video for you using the image so here's some of my own image to video results and i'm really happy with the amount of motion that it generates and yeah i think this looks fantastic in my opinion uh, Pixverse has a lot of potential within the AI video generator scene and I'm very happy with the results that it ends up generating over here. So I just wanted to show you some of my own videos uh, that I've generated. Now there are some additional buttons over here that I want to explain. The first one is effect but I will explain that shortly because that's a really cool feature. But you can see over here we have style. So style can be used with both, both text and image to video. This means you can apply a specific style to your generated output. So I can generate a video in anime or comic or clay. And if I'm supplying an image, it will analyze that image and its composition and then apply that style on top of it. So that's just a cool way to change the style of your generated output. Uh, with text to video, you can choose the aspect ratio. This option is not available if you're using image to video because image to video analyzes the images aspect ratio that you're supplying. And then over here, we have something called character. So this is quite interesting, although I don't think it works that great. Uh, but this is a way to generate likeness in a video. So you can create a character. For instance, if I click on create, you can upload an image over here of someone's face. You can give them a name and then you click on create character. Once that's done, you'll actually be able to select that character over here. So whenever you generate a video, it's going to insert that person's likeness into the video. Uh, now, again, I, I tried, a, tried it with a picture of myself and it doesn't really look like me. So it's, it's an interesting feature to use, but it's not 100% accurate. But still, it's very cool that they included, you know, the ability re to retain likeness with generated videos. So that's how you do that. So the other button that I was going to explain over here is effect. And this is what I think is a really fun and interesting feature to use on Pixverse. So... Besides clicking on the effect button over here, if I go to effect on the left hand side, uh, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of these presets that can generate some very interesting results. So what you're looking at are predefined effects, which work 100% of the time. So if you've got an image or video, you are going to get this desired end result, which is awesome. So I tried this with a picture of myself and I turned myself into Venom. And yeah, the results look pretty cool. And to use this is super easy. So I'm actually going to use this image of a modern day uh, Beethoven and I'm going to turn him into the Joker so drag and drop your image over here to upload it and now you go to whatever effect you want to use in this case I want to use Joker's Rebirth you can see it automatically applies it over there and it inserts a prompt and then just click on create and there we go just like magic he transforms himself into the Joker so another interesting feature on Pixverse is the ability to extend videos that weren't generated on Pixverse. Uh, now, if you've got a video, what you want to do is just drag and drop it over here to upload the video, and it's automatically going to switch to extend video. So you'll see this pop up. You can preview your video. So mine is just five seconds. All right, and if you're happy with that, you click on confirm and you can see it goes automatically to extend mode. Now you can type in a prompt over here and it's obviously going to adhere to that prompt. You can change any settings over here if you want to, you know, apply an effect to it or change the style, uh, change the quality output or the duration of this extension, as well as switch from normal to performance mode. But then you just click on create and it's going to extend that video for you. So it definitely goes ahead and extends this video. So my original video was five seconds, but you'll notice when the extension actually happens right over there. You notice that jittery motion. So obviously it's going to try and adhere to whatever prompt you have, and it's going to try and extend it and make it look coherent. 
Uh, but what I've noticed with the extension over here, it's almost like it adds additional frames before it extends from the last frame. That's why there's that jittery motion. So in order to fix this, you have to do it in another program and manually edit it. For instance, if I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro, I'd have to scrub to that point where this jittery motion happens and I'd have to analyze my last frame and I'd have to do some manual editing over here. So I'd have to try and match, you know, where the extension occurs and try and create a cut over here, right? So for instance, this part over here would need to be cut out. Then I'd have to delete this and rejoin this clip over here so that that extension looks a lot more natural. So now if I click on play, see that jittery motion is completely gone because I removed that area in the clip that had additional frames applied onto it. So you will have to do some manual labor over here if you want your extensions to look a lot more natural. But it is possible to extend a video with Pixverse. So just one more tip, if you click on animation, this is essentially like accessing the style. But now we can actually see some examples that have been generated using these various styles. And in my opinion, Pixverse excels with generating anything that's anime related. So you can look at some of the examples over here. There's some really incredible end results uh, that have been generated. So this is just a great way to get some inspiration if you are trying to utilize some of these different styles for your generations as well. So go ahead and have a look at this. And yeah, you can see what it's capable of doing. By clicking on Asset, this is a great way to get an overview of everything that you've generated on Pixverse. You can even filter it by the week or month that you've generated, uh, you know, those results. Uh, you can even see all of the characters that you've created using this character feature. Uh, so yeah, just a very quick and easy way to look at all of your end results. And then of course, by clicking on favorite, that's just everything that you've liked, that you've generated, you'll be able to view it within the favorite tab. So I'm going to be completely honest, this model still struggles with hands. Uh, I've got a couple generations where I've got a, you know, a couple of extra fingers. For example, with this one, there's extra fingers in the scene. Uh, so this is something that you can encounter when you're generating some end results. So just be mindful of that. Uh, but this, yeah, this is one of the weaknesses that I did notice, uh, although it doesn't happen with every single generation. Now, if we click on this tab, it'll bring us over to the pricing section. So you can use Pixverse for free. They give you 90 credits to start with, then 60 daily. But obviously, if you want the best use out of this, you'll have to subscribe. Now, this video is not sponsored in, in, in any way. I only talk about products that I have personally used. And I think that Pixverse has a lot of potential. So that's why I'm showing you. That's the main reason why I put this video together. If you guys like the platform, then definitely consider getting one of the plans. But you can use it for free. And if your credits run out, you can obviously purchase additional credits as well. So that's going to be the end of this video. Now you guys let me know what you think about Pixverse and like I said I think it has a lot of potential and the 3.5 update definitely has improved the quality and the coherence and the fact that you can now generate videos in 1080p is also a major plus. Uh, but yeah I definitely see a lot of potential with Pixverse. Anyway you guys are super awesome. Stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials and goodbye.